Hello everyone, my name is Orlando and welcome to my channel. I want to remind everyone before we start today's topic that I am doing a $250 Amazon gift card giveaway. So if you are interested, please read the rules in the description below. So today's topic is about finding a mentor. Mentorship has been one of those things that I get comments all the time about, people sending me messages, asking me about mentorship, asking me if I could help, if I could do this and that and the other, and I have no problem helping individuals. But let me just kind of give some insight on mentorship and how it should be approached and how it shouldn't be approached. Most people believe mentorship is this fly by the night type of relationship where it doesn't really have some type of cohesiveness to it. It's like a different form of a friendship, but like multiple, multiple steps away. But I like to tell people that mentorship is a form of a friendship. It's one of those relationships where it needs to be done right. So let's talk about the things that you need to do to make sure that a mentorship starts off the right way. So someone comes up to me and says, hey Orlando, I want some information on real estate, stocks, bonds, everything financial. I'm trying to get into this great financial freedom space. And one of the first thing that I'm going to do and most individuals are going to do is I'm gonna ask them, what have they looked at? What information have you went to go look at on your own and try to digest? Have you read books on the subject? Have you done your research before you have come to me? And most people have not done that research. Most people come to you expecting you to start at ground level, ground level, and then give them all the information you know to get them up to here. And that's not how mentorship works. Mentorship works best, let me repeat this, mentorship works best when the individual that is mentoring you knows that you are as serious about what you want the mentor to teach you as they are about their crap. Meaning, if you're gonna come to me about real estate, if you're gonna come to a XYZ person about stock, you have better best read up on everything you possibly could have read up on and understood before you come to the individual for mentorship. It is a respect that you are giving your mentor by coming prepared, by knowing terminology, by knowing the basics of what you're coming to ask them for. It is not the mentor's position to teach you from preschool all the way to college. That is not the mentor's position. The mentor's position is to give you things that you may have missed, to give you advice, kind of like a precursor before that you would normally experience it, to give you a heads up in those environments. That is the job of a mentor. So your second one is, are you using your mentor to gain money or gain information from their experiences. I see this all the time. This is a big one because a lot of times you see individuals looking for mentors and their only goal is to come out on the other side making additional money. They're not looking for the information through the experiences of the mentor, letting them know the little tidbits that will get them further in whatever industry that they're in. It could be finances, it could be stock, whatever it may be. But this is key. The information that you're going to receive from this individual can allow you to skip multiple years and multiple mistakes that individual made. But if you're only looking at the dollar amount that you possibly could make from this individual, then you're missing out on a great opportunity to learn something that you did not know. Because remember guys, that is what a mentor is. Explaining, letting you know about things that you do not know. That is what this relationship is is I'm basically acting as somewhat of a mentor to let you know the potholes that you want to avoid. And that's what a good mentor does. But a mentee, an individual who is learning from the mentor, if you are just looking past 
and all you see is the money on the other side of the rainbow and you're not focusing on the lessons that the mentor is trying to teach you, that's when you run into issues. I see this all the time where mentees are literally looking past their mentors because all they see is the money on the other side of the rainbow. So let's avoid that. And how do we do it right? We listen to your mentor and his experiences and we learn from him. Number three, it is a death sentence, guys. Thinking you know more than your mentor. So my question to you is, you go out and you find a mentor that you respect. You find that individual. That individual is okay with you being his mentee. And then you decide that you know more than your mentor and you try to show him or her up. You try to over talk them. You try to basically you're being rude to them, not respecting their time, reading things on the internet and then regurgitating them like as if you know it, that it plays out this way in the real world. How would you, if you were on the other side, take that? You would take that as in the mentee is being disrespectful they don't care about your time. And if they know so much, then why are you having this partnership between a mentee and a mentor, right? Why, why, what's the need of this if you know more than your mentor? That's what you would be saying to yourself if you were on the other side, right? And so I see this all the time where individuals don't know how to ask questions respectfully. They, instead of telling your mentor that, oh no, this is the way it's done. Oh no, this is the way you should do this. Why don't you ask questions and say, hey, I don't understand this. I thought it was done this way. Why do you do it this way? Oh, I, I quite, I, I really don't understand that. Can you explain that in depth? There are ways that you can come across to where the mentor will respect that you are asking him or her questions and it will come off not in a situation that you know more, but that you are interested and then you will also gain the information that you need. Now, this is important in this type of partnership because it goes back to any relationship, guys. Any relationship. You have a relationship with your wife or your husband or your friends and you cannot go around, you know, being disrespectful in those relationships. So you cannot go into a relationship or a partnership like mentorship and then think that you can be disrespectful, discredit someone and their experiences. You can always ask questions and there's nothing wrong with disagreeing, right? But if you are going to take on a mentor, then you need to understand that that mentor is doing it on his own time. He is doing it because he wants to do it. He probably sees something in you that makes him want to mentor you. So with that being said, you need to respect your mentor and ask tasteful questions that will gain both of you something, right? The mentor will see that you're interested and then you gain valuable information that you would have never gained or would have took you maybe years, maybe months, but that is time that you can cut off to better use in another area, but not in whatever the question, that, the area that the question that you were asking. So guys, once again, if you found this information valuable, please hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification button so that when I release videos like this, that you will be notified ASAP. And once again, I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks.